Welcome to another video in our cat pet tips and ideas series and in this video we're looking at how we can do some queries in our access part which is part of phase two. Now here's the rubric for 2022. Um, previous years they've changed it slightly. This year they want three queries. Previous years they've only wanted two. So the key here is to make sure that you've got enough queries that they want and make sure that you hit all of these four levels. So we want a simple criterion. So it's some sort of equals to X or whatever like that. So greater than something. So we want something like that. We want a field where we are using a multiple conditions or combined conditions or we're doing um, in ranges and stuff like that. That's all the potential. Um, and we want a simple calculated field or using dates. Now, I remember I told you to include the birth date for your survey, and that's where this is going to be coming in quite handy. And then a complex one using a grouping. And so that's going to be quite useful as well when we talk about our findings. So those, those are the ones I really like. Um, that gives us a lot of information for our findings. So let's try to do all four levels and let's see how we can do that. So let's go have a look. Now, your queries mustn't be done for query's sake. You need to actually use the queries in such a way that you find valuable information. So you, this, this requires you to actually understand what your information is about and what you can extract or find out that's going to help you. So obviously, this is just a made up data. You will have to use your understanding of your data to try to find the best information. So we've got lots of information that we could find. Maybe we want to find out how many people said four or five, how many people said yes, or how many people said maybe, or how many people said maybe and selected blue. So obviously find stuff that is relevant to you. So those are the types of things that you would look at. So if you're going to go create a query, um, it's very easy to hit those different marks, but obviously trying to find information that is valuable. So we're going to use query design and we're going to use this particular table that we've got. There we go. Let's add it. And we want to find out how many people said, um, now because we don't have names and surnames, we don't actually worry about that. So we want to find out how many people said in question one that they said we want the criteria there to be a yes for both question one and a yes for question two. Let's say that was the criteria that we want. That either said yes for both. And there we go. So there we've got the nice level one type of question. So there we go. So that there we go. See what the results will be. So those are the people that said yes for both. And you must save this obviously as a query that is useful to you. So query, well, I'll call it query one, um, yes for both Q1 and Q2. So something like that. Give it a nice meaningful name over there. So that's a particular query that you could do. Um, no, we want to say that. yes, we want to say that. So we want to, doop. so let's go create another query. So that would be a nice level one. Okay, so now we want level two. So maybe we want, um, for example, if we looked at the data, may, for this one, we said like question five, like four or five was very likely. So we want to find how many people got four or more for that particular question. So that would particularly fall in the range particular. So we want a range. Um, so greater than a particular range and multiple conditions and that so or even wild cards so there we go let's try to do something like that so in this case we want to find those who are highly unlikely highly likely which were fours and fives but it also said blue as what the question seven so if that's quite easy we can create a query design let's go add or oh, i've already got that i've got it over here so we'll, and we're going to add all those that said in question five that it must be greater than equal to four because we want four or more you could have it in between and in question seven we want it to be blue so it could be anywhere there so it can't just be blue like that it must be star blue star so that it finds the word blue somewhere in the middle of it um, or you can use or to have other criteria if you want or you want all those that said below four and red so obviously stuff that's valuable to you and if we run that you can see all those that are four more and that said blue somewhere there and you can save this particular query as query two um the blue with uh like blue likelies sounds like a band blue likelies so there we go the blue likelies Okay, so there's that query. And then for the calculated field, we as we could work out the um, average, for example, well, not the average, but we could work out the age of using the date of birth. Um, 
if there's other values over here that could be calculated so you could if this had something if this numerical value had some value that could be calculated maybe it's an amount of money and you wanted to work out how much tax people were paid and it's a set value you could do something like that um, but most of the time they're quite limited in the calculation so i'm going to use the date for this so under this one i want to find out the date of birth so we want the form response so we want the date of birth boom, boom, boom. So we want the date of birth. There's the date of birth, just to have it there. And I want, for example, add some other values to it. So let's say we want question uh, six as well. Boom. I want, I want question six there, please. Boom. And I'm actually going to sort it by question six in descending order. And I'm going to have a calculated field here. I'm going to say eight. So this, remember, calculated field, just say equals. And you can put today's date minus which i actually think it's to date i think it's put in date for today's date minus the date underscore of underscore birth because that's what the field is called that sh sh let's go see what that looks like if i just run it like that it doesn't know what date of birth did i spell it incorrectly oh, i think there is actually a space there let's go do that space i think i put an accidental space there if i've spelt it incorrectly boom there we go, that's better. So that's how many days the person's been alive, but we don't want days, we want the age. So I'm going to call this an age uh, field, and then I'm going to put that in brackets, and then divide that by 365 to get the age. And we can round that up if we want to. I think we can a round function. I think there is a round function that we can just use round. And at the end, we say comma zero. Let's see if that works. There we go. And it rounds it if we want to. Boom. So there we go. We've got the round function. Or you can just cut it off if you want. If you want to use the, um, there's a trunk function or int function. I think there's a trunk. Trunk just cuts it off if you want. I think int is the other option. If trunk doesn't work, yeah, it doesn't like trunk. I think it's an int. If you use int, it just cuts off the bottom the the decimal part so there's probably so that, that 16.99 they weren't they weren't there yet but they were close but we stayed 16 still so they're not 17 yet so there you can have your age and you can obviously do something to do with the age um so you can see the most that was given for question six was 17 by a 16 year old and so maybe you can talk about that as interesting information in your findings so this is your query for level three which is your calculated field query so obviously save it as query three and this is our um age by question six comparison you can obviously give it nice name. and then the next one this is the one that's going to be quite useful if you want to find out what the average of these questions are for the yes no maybe or the average based on city those are the types of things if there's some category that you can divide this up into grouping that can be quite useful so if i for example say okay let's i want to find out the yes no maybe distribution uh, based on the grade for example that might be useful so let's go and create a query so we are going to first select the grade we'll first select the table we're first going to select the grade and then I'm going to select the yes, no, maybe question, which was question two. And then I'm going to click on totals over here. So it goes grouped by the grade. And then we want to find um, the average that was said for, because this was yes, no, maybe. So I actually want to count it. In this case, we want to count them. Boom. So if I do a count, it'll count how many people in grade 10. I'll actually just count them. So what I actually want to do. It would actually be if I want to group by this particular one. I actually want to group by this and then count whatever the, the score. It doesn't actually matter which field I use in this case because I'm just going to count it. Not grade, but let's take school. Let's count and just see what it does. So, so there were three people that said in grade 10 that said no, maybe there were three people in 10 that said no and there were two people in grade 10 that said yes so that's what you could do for that particular one another option could be if instead of using count we could have used for example if i just take this one away but to cut that instead of question two we could use question four and we could have instead of grouped it we could have found the average so in this case when we run it we can say grade 10 the average for that particular question 
was a 2.8 the average for that was that and so on so you've got all those options available of uh, finding you can even find the the most commonly occurring one um, there's min max is count there's the the first the last expression and so on so you can play around with that with your grouping so remember when you do your grouping one you click on totals you group by the one field by what you wanted to group by that category and then this will be the average of all question four and so on so those are the types of things that you can do obviously it's very difficult to explain to you what to do if I don't know what your data looks like. But you need to look at your data and look at what information you can extract so that you can then go and talk about that. Okay. So that you must be able to go talk about that. I can say, I can talk about this. I can say, there you can see the grade 12s. They have got a significantly higher average for question four. Why is that? And I can give my assumptions and so on on that. Okay. So go do your queries. Please like our channel, subscribe, even if you want to turn notification off, that's fine as well. Just support the channel by giving a subscribe and share this with your friends. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.